Hey lovelies! So as the weather outside continues to cool down, things in the kitchen are just starting to heat up. All month long, I am sharing some of my very favorite comfort food classics, and today it is all about this absolutely incredible broccoli cheddar soup that my whole family is loving right now, especially Elle, who just can't seem to get enough. Now, what I love about this soup is that it's quick and easy, so it's perfect for a busy weeknight, and it involves some extra veggies, which we know we could all be getting a little more of. Now to get started for this soup, I have got my nice big Dutch oven heating up over medium high heat on the stove. And as soon as my Dutch oven is nice and hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter to it. I just wanna let that butter melt down until it becomes nice and frothy. If you don't wanna use butter in this recipe, you also have the option to use a splash of oil instead. It's totally up to you. But of course the butter imparts a ton of great flavor. Now as soon as my butter is nice and melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add some onion to this. The ingredients in this recipe are really, really simple and there's very little prep involved. Basically, you're really just chopping an onion, some garlic, and of course your broccoli florets. If you wanted to do all of your chopping during your Sunday meal prep, you could save yourself a ton of time on a weeknight. Basically, you just get home, throw it all into a pot, and in under 30 minutes, dinner is on the table and it's so super good. And I'm just going to let that onion cook away for two to three minutes, just until it starts to soften up and becomes translucent. Once our onion is nice and happy, we can go ahead and get our garlic in here. I'm using one clove in this recipe. Two or three will definitely work as well. You guys know how we feel about garlic in this kitchen. Real good. We always feel real good. And just as soon as that glorious garlic smell hits your nostrils, you know it's time to get some flour into the pan. Now we're using flour in this case just to thicken this up so it's going to make a nice rich creamy soup. But we wanna make sure that we're cooking off that more floury taste and that's why we add it to the pot before adding our liquids. Now we're just gonna let our flour cook for another 30 seconds to a minute. You wanna make sure you're stirring it constantly because you don't want it to burn. And the next step in this ultra simple recipe is just going to be adding our liquids. In this case, I am using a combination of some chicken broth as well as some milk. Now you could definitely use cream in this recipe if you want to, that is totally an option. I find this recipe is rich enough already with the cheese we're going to be adding, but if you wanna make it even more rich, by all means, go right ahead and add some cream instead. Now all we really wanna do at this point is heat those liquids just until they reach a simmer. You don't wanna let them boil because you don't wanna scald that milk. As soon as you start to see some bubbles breaking the surface, you basically want to turn your heat down to medium and then it's time to add our star ingredient, our beautiful broccoli to the pot. Now you'll notice I'm using a combination of broccoli florets as well as the stalks. I know a lot of people like to throw away their broccoli stalks, but please don't. They're really nutritious and super tasty, just as tasty as the florets. Basically, all you need to do is give them a quick peel with a vegetable peeler, just because there's a bit of a woody peel that surrounds the stalk, but what's inside is totally edible and amazing. Once my broccoli is in the pot, I like to add even more great flavor to this. And to do that, I am going to be adding some dried mustard as well as a little hit of smoked paprika. Now, both of these ingredients are optional, but I have to say they make the final flavor of this soup extra delicious. We'll just give this all a quick stir, and then we just wanna let it simmer away for between five and 10 minutes or until that broccoli is completely tender. Now, as soon as that broccoli is tender, we are ready to finish this soup off. I like doing that with a good heaping helping of shredded cheddar cheese. Now you can see I am using some shredded yellow cheddar here. You could use some white as well. Something really sharp is important though because you really want it to have great flavor. Speaking of flavor, this is a great time to season this up with some salt and some pepper. And honestly guys, that's it. We just wanna stir this until that cheese is fully incorporated and then it is ready to be enjoyed. Seriously, in 20 minutes or less. What is not to love about that? Now, of course, you could always serve this yummy soup up with some nice fresh bread or even a grilled cheese on the side. That would be super delicious. But I like keeping things simple with just some apple slices. That little bit of sweetness offsets the savoriness of the soup and it's really a match made in heaven. Guys, I really hope you love this recipe as much as I do and that you'll give it a try for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. 
Remember, this tasty recipe, like all of our recipes, is featured on HealthyMealPlans.com, our awesome meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and automatically generates your shopping list for the week. I hope you'll take a look for it. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.